Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to make tempura at home. So good tempura shouldn't be soggy or soft or fluffy, good tempura should be crispy. And today I'm going to show you how to make crispy tempura. For the butter, you will need cake flour, ice cold water and an egg. Cake flour has less protein, so it creates less gluten. It will create lighter butter. You also want to use ice cold water, but don't put ice in the water. It creates a temperature difference around the ice. Make sure everything is cold, including your ingredients. When you're mixing flour, don't overmix it. I'm using four chopsticks instead of using a whisk, so I don't overmix the butter. So let's prep the shrimp. First, cut the tip of the tail and using your tip of your knife and scrape the dirt and water inside. If you don't do that, sometimes the tail explodes. <laughs> Sounds a little bit dangerous. Shrimp tend to curl up when it's cooked. So cut small incisions on both sides. This will prevent the shrimp from curling up and you can keep a nice long shape. Let's prep the vegetables. For the eggplant, cut and remove the stem, then make five to six half inch thick slices throughout the eggplant. This way, you can shorten the frying time for eggplant and it will make a nice presentation. When you're frying vegetables that have a smooth surface like a squash or eggplant, coat them in the flour lightly before dipping in the batter. Make sure to dust off excess flour. This way, the batter sticks better and coat the ingredients evenly. If you're frying something thick, like kabocha squash, fry at 320 Fahrenheit so it will cook through. Once they are fried, hold the tempura above the oil a little bit to drain off excess oil. Then transfer to a cooling rack and drain oil almost standing it up. For eggplant, you also want to coat with flour lightly and dip in uh, tempura butter. You want to fry around 340 Fahrenheit and you want to fry two to three minutes. For shrimp, coat them in the flour lightly before dipping in the batter. Raise temperature to 350 Fahrenheit. Once you drop shrimp into the oil, dip your fingers into the batter and drizzle batter over the shrimp. It will create more coating around the shrimp and makes extra crunchy shrimp tempura. And you made a tempura. Serve the tempura immediately with a dipping sauce or seasoned salt like matcha salt. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned some tricks and tips making tempura. I hope you enjoy making tempura at home. Oh, yes!